Oh, fish on, guys. I didn't expect that. Man, this one's a fighter. Delicious. Let's see. The best ceviche you can have. Fresh striper, fresh ingredients, Papa John's. Before we begin, I want to thank the Air family for sending me out their folding tripod stool. This stool measures 28 inches in total length and it sits 22 inches high. It's only 2.1 pounds, so it's very light. It features non-slip feet, good stability, and easy to store. Also, it offers a carrying strap for easy to shoulder and easy to carry. When you want to give your feet a rest, this chair is very comfortable. If you're interested in this product, I'll link it down below. Thank you for watching and back to the fishing video. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, so if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and if you enjoy this video, hit the like button. So I'm back here at the California Aqueduct where I caught that, uh, if you check out my last video, I'll link it above. I caught a 24 inch striper. Hopefully the fish are still here. Today's super cold. As you can tell, I have my hoodie on. Let's see if we can catch them. It's super windy and chilly today. Go ahead and start off with the uh, dual reals. It's cold. I'm gonna go ahead and try tossing this A rig around. See if they will bite. Doesn't hurt to try, I guess. All right, I made it to a new spot. Saw something chasing my lure. Is that a bass or a striper? Saw a fish follow my uh, jerk bait, but he's pretty deep, so let's see if he'll, he'll bite on the A rig. I don't know if it was a striper or a largemouth bass. And the bass going crazy over there. Oh, fish on, guys. I didn't expect that. I think this one was a striper. Oh, that's a nice one. Is that a bass? I think it's a bass. Oh, I think it's a striper actually. I didn't expect this bite, guys. With the weather change and everything, I was like, I might skunk today. Ooh, that one looks like a nice one. Man, this 
one's a fighter. Yeah, drag them up though. Oh, that's a nice one. All right. Let's go ahead and pick them up. Hell yeah, baby. That's a nice one. Woo! He, he freaking choked it. You see my swim bait? It's all the way down there. There you go, guys. He freaking choked my swim bait. Look at my kite tech all the way in there. He ate the main uh, trailer, too. The main bait. That's a nice fatty. So maybe my suspicions are right. So when I was throwing my jerk bait, uh, I saw a fish follow my bait all the way to the, to the bank. But he was smaller than that. And maybe it was a striper. Yeah, he messed my kai tech up a, a little bit. He, he ate the tail or something. So I had to switch it for this one. Man, I did not expect to catch that striper today. See, it's like days that you think you're gonna skunk, you just end up catching a fish. Oh wow, I have my drag super tight. No wonder he wasn't peeling any line. The drag is super tight. So the current setup that I got, I got a uh, seven foot six medium heavy Abu Garcia Vendetta rod and a uh, Abu Garcia Silver Max on, and also a 50 pound braid. A power pro. Switching back to the jerk bait. Swapped over to a single Kai Tech on a, I think, quarter ounce jig. Alright, one more cast. All right, let's go. I didn't get a chance to measure the fish, but I know he's well over the legal limit, but let's go ahead and measure him now. I'm gonna say he's probably 22. He's wide, but he's definitely shorter than I thought. Okay, it's a little stiff there. I know I gotta measure him with the mouth closed, because now we know how to properly measure a fish. Okay, we're gonna pretend his mouth is closed right here. As you can see right there. And then his tail fanned out. So from lip to tail, 22 and a half. Not a bad fish. I'm pretty good with guessing the size on the fish now. But yeah, I'll take it, man. This one was a fighter. Got him on the A rig. Just curious as to how much he weighs. Let's go and see. He's a fatty. Man, I love fall fishing. Got these fat stripers. Four pounds. Four point eight six pounds. Nice fish. All right, guys. I'm gonna call it a day. One fish today. I thought it was gonna a skunk, man. The weather has changed so much. It was super cold and windy. I'm just surprised. I'm just surprised that I caught this striper. 22 and a half inches. Nice fatty. Fall striper fishing. Man, I love it. Uh, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my kitchen. So today we're going to do a catch and cook. Uh, we're actually going to make striper ceviche. So this is the 22 and a half inch striper that I caught this morning. So why not make some fresh ceviche? So here are some of the ingredients you're going to need. First, you're going to need lime, lots of lime. You're going to need cucumber. You're going to need serrano peppers, some avocados. Over here, you're going to need some jalapenos. You're going to need tomatoes, cilantro, onion, 
and of course you're gonna need the main thing striper right so let me go ahead and uh, clean this fish up and I'll go ahead and fillet him all right so I got the fish cleaned up got it scaled got it filleted I'm actually only gonna use one side of it so this one I'm gonna go ahead and fry it later so I'm only gonna use one side so I only filleted one side here and took the skin off I just wanted to show you guys real quick I don't waste any fish all of this is gonna be eaten you guys ever watch those youtubers where they fillet the little bluegill and they'll eat that little fillet that's not a catch and cook this is the catch and cook So I covered the fish in lime juice. I'm gonna go ahead and now put them in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes. I recommend you guys get one of these. It just makes your cuts more consistent and makes the cubes all the same size. Runs a lot faster. So the striper's all cooked now. It's been in the refrigerator for 45 minutes in that lime juice. All we need to do now is just mix in all the veggies that we cut up. Like some salt, some tapatio, avocado, all right I'm gonna go ahead and let Brenda try it. Delicious. So I had to break mine up because I have braces but let's see. Mmm. That was delicious. The best ceviche you can have. Fresh striper, fresh ingredients, Papa John's. I'm just kidding. Anyway, I take some uh, jarito as well. Chase it. Mmm, so refreshing. All right, I just want to say if you guys stuck till the end, thank you guys very much. Um, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.